Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is a bonus love reading for Capricorn. Hope you're all well. Thought I would do a little follow-up energy, see what's coming in. That's abundant and positive, new love connections. Right. The weekly readings don't always resonate with everyone, so I'm going to do my best to focus on positive, new energy, new love, abundance coming towards you, whether it be work, a home, financial abundance, <laughs> Capricorn, what's coming towards you, what's abundant, what is it that you need to do, Capricorn, bring this abundance towards you, new love, new money, new home, prosperity for Capricorn. Capricorn. There we go. Community. Oh, you have somebody. I believe you have an offer coming in for a date. Wow. Somebody is taking action. Ooh, there's abundance. Oh my goodness. This could be you. You might meet somebody soon or you may be going to some kind of event. You could be the one taking an action here, but it could be uh, somebody else who is a possible earth sign or somebody who has a lot of money. Some of you are manifesting money. You have a lot of abundance coming. I feel, wow, you've got so much coming. Door to value is here and strength. Wow, you guys. You have a lot of strength right now. And I actually feel there's somebody who has very strong feelings for you. This is somebody who values you. This is also you loving yourself first. This is, you have someone coming towards you that has a lot of money. And I feel it's like you're the same. I see you. This is like your other half. There's that yin and yang, the black and the white, right? Beautiful energy. Somebody is coming towards you with a very abundant offer. This is someone who values you. This is going to bring a lot of abundance. There's a lot of strength here. Somebody is gaining that strength and that confidence, or they are somebody who's very confident. You were them. <laughs> Take it as it resonates. Here we go. Yeah, I feel like you, you're going to meet somebody, a new community in a new community, or it's an offer to go out. It's going to be beautiful. This is someone who will value you, shower you with abundance. Beautiful energy, Capricorn. What does Capricorn need to know about this beautiful, abundant energy? Yeah, some of you are putting something behind. Look at that. Yeah, you're standing in your power. You're very confident right now. And this is what your confidence is. You're very strong. And it's bringing that wheel of fortune energy. Things are going in your in your way or going your way. You're letting something go. Okay. Some of you are just surrendering, giving up on something and letting it go. And you're moving towards something else because you've met somebody or it could be this person. You may have somebody who's uh, surrendering to you <laughs> yeah we'll see where this goes it's not always negative yeah there you go you have a king of cups energy capricorn wow yeah you're very powerful and very strong right now whatever it is that you're manifesting and working for it is going to come and the one thing i can see is this that you're valuing yourself but you have somebody coming towards you that does value you this king of cups you have, and I feel like they are probably an earth sign as well. Beautiful energy. All right, yeah, you have somebody coming. They could be at a distance. You may have met this someplace, social media, online dating. Some of you, I feel as though they're coming towards you. They're leaving something in the past or they're letting, or this person either doesn't want to give up. You may have given up on online dating, but whatever it is, maybe there's someone that you met there that's actually going to come forward at some point. Yeah, it's kind of looking like it. We have justice. Oh, yeah. You have options. Yeah, things are going in your favor. You have a lot of options. You're doing what's right for you. You're very confident with this Queen of Wands energy. You may have Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius in your chart, possibly Libra. I see Leo energy. Uh, doesn't have to be. This is just the energy of the reading. So you have a lot of possibilities. You have options. And I feel there is somebody who sees you as just right. Somebody who sees you as a good fit. They're coming towards you. This is someone who's coming in right. 
because they see you as this wheel of fortune. They see the possibilities with you. Someone's making this choice. Yeah, they're coming after you. Somebody is coming in to chase you. They're coming in as emotionally balanced. Look at this. I love this chariot card. See that? There's that yin and yang. Someone sees you as that other half, that perfect fit. There you go. Capricorn. Beautiful. They could have cancer. They could have cancer in their chart. So that's a lovely connection for you. Pisces or Scorpio for some of you because I see the Queen of Wands. I see that fire and water mix. So yeah, there's something. Ha you've got some happiness, emotional fulfillment. This is going to make you so happy. Man holding a coin. Who is this? Oh, this is some, see, somebody who values you. Wow, they could be a Taurus. They may have Libra in their chart for some of you. I feel this person is going to, they hold you in the highest regard. They think you're the, you're so confident, you're so strong. They see you as just right. And they want to come towards you. They will come towards you right too. Beautiful. Yeah, there's that wheel of fortune. They see, they want things to move forward. They're going to, they see you as, as abundance. They see you as, and I think that you're doing a lot of this on your own. Because you are so confident, I feel that you're really valuing yourself. And I love that energy. Tell me about the angel of strength. Actually, let's see what's underneath here. Tell me about this action. What action will this person take? What action is this person taking? What action is this person taking to come towards you? What action? Oh, they're manifesting you. They're a little indecisive, or you are indecisive about whether you should or you shouldn't. Oh, because you're valuing yourself. Tell me about this angel of strength. There we go. Yeah, wow. I feel like, yeah, there's someone here who kind of feels they're not good enough. Okay, someone's a little insecure. They're trying to gain the strength and the confidence. They don't want to sabotage this. <laughs> Yeah, this is this person doesn't want to sabotage this. They're afraid to sort of sacrifice their feelings and emotions. This is somebody who doesn't want to repeat mistakes they've made in the past. They want things to go in their favor. This person sees you as this wheel of fortune. They want to come in. And I feel because you're holding yourself in high regard, things are going in your favor. You're going to get what you want. And this is also you making sure you don't sabotage things. Be strong, be brave. If you're feeling a little indecisive and you're not so sure, all right, just you have all the tools that you need to manifest what you want. You might be a little afraid that you don't see a way forward with somebody. This sometimes is just too much thinking, being guarded. Um, and you know, it's only a two. You can actually just drop these swords if you wish. Some of you are guarded. You have had a tough time. Uh, you're not so sure you're ready to surrender everything you've worked for. Maybe some of you have kind of been doing your own thing, focusing on your career. You might be a little bit worried. I feel like you and this person could mirror each other in a lot of ways. You both may have um, sabotaged relationships in the past because you keep doing the same things. I feel it's the person coming towards you, though, trying to gain that strength and confidence to not screw up. <laughs> like they have in the past. Now, I don't see a reconciliation. I see this as more as somebody who, maybe this person's worked on their mon money and they have a lot of abundance. So now they feel more confident to come forward. Somebody who may have had trouble in relationships in the past. But I, for some of you, definitely, this is something where you've given up on online dating. You're turning your back on it. You're ready to move forward in another direction. But this person's going, you may have met this person either at a social event or somewhere through friends or family or online dating, social media. And if you walk away from that, they are going to catch up with you. <laughs> yes, they are. So tell me about Blossoming Abundance. Yeah, so here you go. Yeah, there you go. The two of you together, there's so much abundance between the two of you. You have so much to give each other. And this is the thing, they see you as just right. This person's coming towards you. They're coming towards you right. They want to move this towards. See, that's a Ten of Cups right there. See, this person. Yeah, they're coming in. There's a. You're getting what you want, wish fulfillment. It, this person's going to come in just right. This You're just right for each other because you both, you're going to understand each other because I feel this person does value you. <laughs> 
Hold, keep holding yourself in high regard no matter what. Okay, I see this person sees you as, as everything they could ever want. I feel as though if it is an ex energy or somebody you've kind of put behind you, they were too much work, whatever, I feel they're coming after you anyway. Tell me about this Nine of Wands. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Yeah, Nine of Wands, yeah. It's both of you. You both have things you need to leave in the past. And that, I feel, is some insecurities of not feeling good enough because maybe you didn't have enough money, you know, or you just had low self-esteem or you just felt there was no hope. Uh, whatever it is, it's <laughs> things are balancing out. The two of you coming together could really balance each other out. There's so much abundance between you. It's crazy. Yeah, someone's thinking about you, pondering this situation. They want to make you an offer. They're looking at all the details, how to communicate. They're thinking about their past. They're thinking about, you know, this, yeah, this person's really thinking a lot about their past, things that have happened, that they're ready to let go of. This is someone who doesn't really, I feel as though there's someone that you've likely met. And when you met, I feel like it was very happy and... But they're coming, yeah. They're they're trying to figure out. This is somebody who might be a little bit um, hold back their feelings. This is someone who's a little oppressed or feels oppressed, like they're holding back. But they're looking at this. They're looking at what they need to leave behind to move forward to have you. So I don't know. I see this card as oppressed or just holding back their feelings, their emotions, and it's. They know they need to leave some kind of sadness behind, okay? I feel like this person's tired of being alone. They're lonely. They know that they need someone in their life, and they see you as just right. So, yeah, this person's definitely um, sort of having a little bit of a pity party with themselves, and I feel like you're kind of standing there, turning your back on this. Like, you don't want someone to come towards you like that, and I think they know it. So I feel, yeah, because you got the King of Cups. Eventually this person is <laughs> going to come. They're going to come towards you. They know they what they need to do. So lovely. Wow, Capricorn. Keep being powerful. Keep being strong with this Empress energy. Because I feel as though you're, you just got a lot going on. It's all really positive. As long as you stay on the road that you're on, the path that you're on. This person finds you very sexy and very attractive. I feel like it's they, they see you as just right. Um, I feel like you're being very creative, very passionate right now. You're standing up for your beliefs. You're very focused on something right now. Your creativity, new beginnings, you're moving forward. Some of you have kind of left this person behind. Okay, but they're going to come in. They're going to offer you something that makes you happy. I think they want to take you out or they want to meet you somewhere and talk. They may reach out on social media. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune. They don't have to be an earth sign. In fact, I actually see water sign, Capricorn. Yeah, use your intuition here. You know, right, that something's moving in your favor. You know. You're, you're ending a cycle in your life, and I feel like this person is too. I see Pisces for some of you. They're ready to put an end to something, to move things forward. The only way um, forward to come out of this loneliness is to find that inner strength. I feel like you could give this person strength, to be honest. I think the two of you would be building each other up. I don't see a lot of negative energy. Tell me about this King of Cups. Who is this person? Oh, this person's so ready for love. They so value you. And uh, I feel as though they need to learn to value themselves a bit too. And I feel maybe this person has had people who have knocked them down, treated them like they weren't good enough. And even though they have lots of money, so I, they probably just worked on their financial stability and it's making them feel stronger. And this could be you as well. So I love this energy. Uh, this is two people basically who have worked on themselves, right? You've done all that work. It's time to get out there to express those feelings, to have some fun, some joy, and uh, some happiness. Emotional fulfillment is coming your way. King of Cups. This person definitely, yeah. So I see this, yeah, you're on the fence here or they are how to approach you. Uh, they want to come and see you. They're taking all the things that they're learning here, okay, that they've learned in their life. They're looking back at all the hard work, 
all the times they've been knocked down, beat up. They're trying not to be emotional, but it is. They're, they've kind of been holding their... There's a lot of things this person has held, and this could be you as well, or both of you, that you've held on to that you know it's time to let go of because it's oppressing. It's Somebody is starting to open up emotionally. They're starting to look at all their hard work, all the times they've been knocked down and beat up, and they're ready for this new beginning. They see you as the one, as that person. Wow. You may see them this way too, if, if this is your story. So lovely. Yeah, this person's coming towards you. Uh, teamwork, cooperation, compromise. They're ready for a commitment. They see all the possibilities with you. Justice. Why is justice here? Yeah, they see you as marriage material. Wow, yeah. They're keeping this to themselves for now. Hiding things, keeping it secret. Yeah, they're not going to tell you right away. They do see the possibilities. They're about to make this choice. They have a little bit of fear of commitment. I feel you're... You have a little bit of fear whether or not um, you feel comfortable with this. If there's things are fair and balanced, you want to make sure there's no secrets, nothing hidden. Mostly this looks like this person has a little bit of fear of commitment, but they see you as commitment material. They see you that way, and I feel they are kind of watching you in secret, possibly on social media. Or they're just keeping things to themselves. This could be a secret admirer, someone you've met before. And you may have had some good times at a social event. It was some kind of a celebration, a happy time. This person was happy uh, talking to you, sharing those cups with you, with you, your friends, your family. I feel they're, yeah, they see the possibilities with you. They're making this decision. Right now their emotions are a little all over about how to approach you, what to say, how to say it. Seven of Cups. You do. You have some options though. I feel like this person's probably a little worried that you have other options, other people. Okay, they're trying to probably find that out. I see the seer here, Wisdom. You're very wise right now. I feel like this person is uh, using their intuition as well, especially if anybody has Pisces, you're really intuitive right now. Capricorn, there we go. Ah, uh, yes, look at that. Yeah, there's someone that sees the possibilities with you. And I do feel this person is a little bit afraid, and I feel Capricorn, this could be you. You're a little bit afraid of commitment. You kind of have everything you need. You're not so sure. You see the possibilities of staying single. I Maybe you just want to stay single right now and, and check out some other possibilities. Maybe you're, you want to go out and, you know, you're having a lot of fun just being social and meeting new people when this person comes in. Yeah, you kind of got everything you need. But I, I think this person, you know, they I think they want to know. They're trying to find out if you're single. That's what I think. Yeah, and they're kind of like, oh, it's possible Capricorn isn't single. Um, they don't know. They're a bit confused. Tell me about the chariot. Why is this chariot here? You might not know who this person is when they present themselves. Yeah, they're making a decision, right? This person's about to make a decision. They know what they got this wake-up call to, where they know they got the calling, right? That they're ready. Um, they're trying to get their emotions balanced. They know they want to. They have to get themselves under control. They need to come after you before you take off in another direction. Oh yes, I see Libra energy strong here, but it doesn't have to be Cancer and Pisces is strong. Leo really could be anyone, you guys. And I actually feel it is someone you have met. You've either been on a date with them. Or there's someone you met at an event some time ago and they really liked you like a lot. But I think they were didn't have the self-esteem to approach you at the time. I feel, wow, look at that. They they want things to move forward with you. They This is someone who will shower you with abundance. Maybe they couldn't do that before. So they didn't reach out to you because they, you know, because I see this poor person as someone who's really had a hard time. 
Like they're thinking about everything that's happened in their past and how they've oppressed their feelings and emotions. They haven't dealt with a lot of their baggage as well, okay? Or they just were beat up a lot in relationships. I feel like this person's, you know, they're dealing with something and I feel it's best if you just sort of sit back and do your thing, okay? It's whoever they are, don't try to hunt them down and find them. <laughs> Not so sure you'll know who this is. You may. Tell me about door to value for Capricorn. What is this door to value? Whoops. Door to value. Commitment. Yeah, you've got people com competing for you because you, you have, you either are financially stable or they do. But there is some kind of conflict here, competition. But this person's taking action. And uh, because I see that up here, right? This person's taking action. They're coming in to fight for you. And... But this person, they, they are a fighter. They are not afraid to go after what they want. I feel as though there has been, this person is a little conflicted. You know, they're a little bit not so sure. They have people competing for them, maybe because they have money. So they have their own beliefs, traditions, and behaviors. Uh, you may not be on the same page with this person right away, or maybe that's what happened in the past and you held yourself in high regard. You just sort of maybe took a step back. So some of you may know who this is. I see Taurus for some of you. This, You may have people competing for you as well. Like I, I feel like this is you. If you don't have anyone competing for you now, you probably will. I feel some of you are working very hard to get that financial stability. Abundance is coming towards you like a lot, like tenfold, right? Like whatever's been, if you haven't had money and you've had financial issues, it is all about to change. So keep doing what you're doing, okay? Because it's going to pay off. You may have people competing for your hand in marriage. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, yeah. I, I feel as though like... I think this person's going to come in and fight for you. Yeah, there's the truth. There's somebody here. Somebody's coming in to speak the truth. You may see the truth in the matter, that maybe this is out of reach. But I think this person knows they have things they need to release. Things that they need to let go of and that are causing them conflict. And I think that's the problem is this person's afraid of marriage. Maybe they had a very bad marriage where they were knocked down, beat up. They didn't have a strong partner. Who knows, right? Um, it could be a whole lot of different things. But this is the truth coming in, some success. And I feel as though, I, I feel this person's coming in to fight. They, I do feel that they want to fight for you. And I do feel... They have some traditions, beliefs, and behaviors that they need to release. They know it, they see it, and it has to do with their past. It has nothing to do with you. Uh, I feel they're going to accomplish this. I feel that, yeah, they definitely are. It, a lot of it's a fear of commitment because maybe who they were married to before wasn't a good fit, okay? Uh, or maybe because they have money, people compete for them because they're financially stable, so they have some issues with that. There's a lot of different things. All right, Capricorn, what is your... You're going to have success. You're getting a wish granted here. Your hopes and dreams are here. You may also... I'm going to tell you, it's not just you, it's this person. i got to be honest. I think you're a little afraid to commit too, or you're afraid you won't make the right decision. Okay, when this person comes in, but look at that, this person's learning a lot, and they're taking everything they learned, and they're coming in to cooperate, okay? You may need to learn, and you may need to compromise as well. You, I feel you and this person have a lot in common. I think you're quite compatible, and I actually feel that I do, and I feel you're going to build something together here. If you cooperate and team up, put your heads together. Your fear is here, though. You're not so sure if you want to stay single and keep your options open, though. Tell me about this. This person could be a Virgo that's coming towards you. Uh, I see Taurus for a lot of you. Beautiful Taurus energy. Yeah, see, yeah, this person's not so sure, right? They're not so sure. This person may have some regrets from... This, I think this person's tired of being alone, to be honest. They see some possibilities with you. Maybe they never seen the possibilities, or maybe you didn't see the possibilities with them. Everybody's scenario is slightly different. Tell 
tell me about the five of cups why is this here here we go yeah see this person's holding on this person's holding on they're looking into the future here i do feel like they're coming after you someone's coming after you uh, they're just getting themselves balanced getting them you know their self-control there they're making this judgment this decision capricorn i think both of you both of you have a fear of commitment <laughs> Yeah, they're making a decision to come towards you. They want to transform this. They want to make something solid. They want this to move towards commitment. Wow. Yeah, you, you've you got someone here who's making up. A, you know, whether you know them, I'm not seeing X energy. I don't. I just see somebody who's going through their own thing. And I do think you, you will know them because I believe you've met them. But I don't see there was ever a relationship. Uh, I feel... This is somebody who's deciding it's time to get married, have a commitment, commit to somebody. Uh, they're just been. This is someone who may have planned their whole life, uh, worked very hard to have a lot of abundance themselves. You too, uh, and through all this hard work, all this making money, looking for financial security. Um, you end up being single for a long time. And it becomes time to commit, to marry, to settle down. You're both looking for somebody who's your equal here, your partner. So very nice. Let's see what the outcome is. Yeah, this is a beautiful. I feel like you're holding on to this or you're looking. You can see this in your future here with this person. And I think they want this with you. This is somebody who's going to want to hold on to you. You're going to have to wait for this person a bit. Um... Uh, yeah, I see. There's the pause. Some of you are afraid. Yeah, you want to just... You're so used to... I see you as being afraid to commit right now. I feel this person does too. I, I feel like they do. But yet they see you as marriage material. But this is... Yeah, see, they know that you're the right path. You're afraid that you have, there's people that you have around you you haven't explored yet. Like you want to keep your options open, but yet you see the possibilities with this person. And I think you, you will make the right choice. I do think this per, you and this person are, are going to come together and get on the same page. Like it's, it's the temple path, it's divine timing, it's everything. It's like it's time now. The money's made, the stability's there, it's now time to settle down, it's time to get married, time to commit, time to have something solid, time to put the past behind, stop being afraid, all right, stop being afraid and oppressing uh, those fears, it's time to let go of those things that no longer serve, right, and move, get ready, and that's what happens when you concentrate on money, uh, your financial security, and time goes by, you get used to being alone, and but it's not always the right path it's meant to be that way forever one more card for capricorn and we'll wrap this up there you go yeah you've got this caring connection yeah this is going to be a very caring connection i feel that's the path that you're on with this person they feel that that's the path they're on with you they see you as a very caring person as well and you will see them this way but that fear of commitment is going to be an issue. You're going to have to share your feelings, your emotions with each other about this. I feel, <laughs> yeah, because, yeah, but you're, and the thing is, is you're moving towards each other. You're taking all the things you've learned through all the dates you've had, right, all the fun times you've had with your friends being single. <laughs> you're not so sure, eh? But I, you're both so afraid. This is what's funny is, there's movement, moving forward calmly and peacefully, cooperating, compromising uh, to bring yourselves together. And it's going to take the two of you putting your heads together, uh, being very open and honest. And it's going to be a little scary at first, but I feel that you both have the strength, okay, to conquer this. It's a very strong connection. If you haven't made it, you're going to. So take care, everyone. I wish you the best and bye for now.